I've seen enough dicks to know exactly how loud I can get if I'm talking to a woman. <laughs> Am I going too fast for everybody? What's going on? <laughs> Can the back of the room not hear me? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, cool. I just can't hear you. Yeah, I'm autistic, not deaf. Fucking be louder. <laughs> if you'd watch my special on YouTube, you fucking know that. What? 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 <laughs> you watched it before I came. I watch it right before I come every time, dude. I... <laughs> it works for me too, dude. <laughs> Thank God, because I needed a miracle. Dude, I was struggling in the libido department, dude. Anybody else serve in the military? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. You, some of you didn't make the right noises. Okay. <laughs> Let me rephrase. Uh, who in here uh, couldn't get an erection for 11 straight weeks, weeks because of the government? <laughs> Hell yeah, me and this guy, dude. <laughs> Thank God you answered, because I was beginning to think they just did it to me, dude. I... No, for those of you unfamiliar, if you ever go to basic training in the military, they put like something called saltpeter in the eggs and the food to keep you from getting erections so you guys can't fuck each other, dude. It's... They're like, yeah, what do you guys do in the shower is already gay enough. We can't have... We can't have penetration, you know? It's... That probably came out gayer than it, than I intended. <laughs> Which is fine. Uh, <laughs> but to clarify, it, I just mean like you, you shower together, it's a group situation, <laughs> you know? I've seen all the dicks. Every shape, size, color imaginable, I've seen them all, dude. I've seen enough dicks to know exactly how loud I can get if I'm talking to a woman. <laughs> The women are laughing because they understand the joke. <laughs> For the men in the room, uh, there's a certain decibel level that you can reach that is directly proportionate to your penis size. And when you reach that decibel level, level a woman will go, uh, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> so if you hear that phrase a lot, your dick's not as big as you think it is, tone it down. <laughs> Not as big as you think, dude. And I know, because I know some big dick motherfuckers. Dude, I... <laughs> dude, do, you, do any of you in here make some noise if you know someone who's got, like, not big dick energy, but big dick confidence, dude? There's a difference. Big dick confidence means they give zero fucks about anything, dude. Like, big dick confidence means I, they can say what, they say whatever they fucking think at any point in time, because no matter how bad the situation might get for them, they know they still have a future in porn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Big dick, big dick, big dick confidence means just fucking walking through life with no fucking safety nets, knowing no matter what happens, you're gonna fail upwards. <laughs> because you have a pole that will help vault you into a better future, <laughs> dude. I... That wasn't a joke that I was supposed to tell you. That was just something I was thinking about. And... <laughs> we were talking about my flaccid penis, I think. And I was... <laughs> 
I think we were talking about the period of my life when I couldn't get erections, did, and because of the government. And it's fine now, though, dude. This joke has been brought to you by Bluetooth. And I don't need Bluetooth. I got golden retriever energy, dude. You, you fucking scratch me just right, and that rock will come out, dude. It'll, Somebody over there fucking snorted. I, it was you, wasn't it? Hell yeah, dude. And the lady in the cowboy hat. Hell yeah, dude. Yeehaw. Hell yeah. We better be careful. I don't know. I, I don't know why I said you, you should be careful. I don't know. Something about the cowboy hat and Alec Baldwin. I don't know. <laughs> My brain didn't finish downloading the report. Dude, you guys just saw it happen in real time. I got two snip, I got two pages of that report. That'll work, did it? Dude, I had somebody comment on one of my videos this morning, and he was like, oh, this dude's energy, like his jokes just feel like, like it's just invasive thoughts flying out and he can't stop them. And I was like, who told him my secret? <laughs> no, it didn't come from me, dude. I'm too good at keeping secrets, dude. I'm autistic. I don't want to talk to any of you fucking anyway, dude. So who am I going to tell? Dude, I'm, a, I'm the fucking best at keeping secrets, dude. My parents still don't know the name of the guy who molested me. <laughs> Remember what I just said 30 seconds ago about the invasive thoughts? <laughs> I guess I'm not that good at secrets. <laughs> Come to think about it, I was better at secrets before I started stand-up. And then now, fucking, you all look at me and I'm just like, mm, what do you want to know? <laughs> Penises, dude, fucking, we're back. <laughs> we did it, dude, fucking P. Sherman, 42 YLBA Sydney.